Hi, the Labor Day weekend is over and you have leftover cheesecake. What are you going to do with it? Stay tuned. This is Eating Sharp. Hi, welcome back. I have taken the cheesecakes and I cut them into about a one by three inch um, little wedges here. And I put them in the freezer just to chill down uh, a little bit before I went ahead and rolled them. And I have some large wonton papers that we're going to roll them into. I also have a cinnamon and sugar mixture. It's about four to six tablespoons of sugar to about one teaspoon of cinnamon. I also have a little egg wash here. It's one egg whipped up with about a tablespoon of water in there. What we're going to do is you want to um, put this egg around the outside of the wonton paper. You know, the other day, a friend of mine, a friend of mine and I decided to go to a Mexican food restaurant. And one of the um, main reasons is because they had um, deep fried cheesecake. And so when we got there um, and we asked for the deep fried cheesecake, the owner came out and said, well, he never learned how to make it. So I'm gonna make this deep fried cheesecake and hopefully he'll watch the video and then incorporate it into his restaurant. So I've done all the way around on the egg wash, as you can see here, I'll hold this up so you can see it. So I've just framed the paper, the wonton paper out with the egg wash and I'm going to go ahead and set the cheesecake right in the center and you'll roll it up just like you're doing a burrito or a spring roll and you just fold this guy over like this and you'll want to make sure this end is also wettened from the egg wash and just roll that up and make sure it's all pushed together there and then go ahead and set those aside. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of these and you guys take a break and we'll be right back. Um, I do have my oil, my canola oil. It is coming up to 375. Um, you don't want it any hotter than that and you don't want it any cooler than that. About 375, it'll take about a minute to deep fry these little jewels and we'll take them out. We'll roll them in the cinnamon and sugar, and then we'll taste them. They're going to be fabulous. So um, tune back in in just a second. We'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. I've got a batch here ready to go. The oil is at 375. They're all done up with the egg wash, just like a little spring roll, but with something a lot better inside. Okay, so we're going to put these cheesecakes in and you want to make sure that you drop them in gently and away from you so that you do not have that oil splash up on you. They only take a minute in the 375 degree oil. You can see how they're browning up just like that golden brown. Oh, come on, turn over. There we go. Turn that one over. There we go. Just mix them around in there until they're nice and golden brown. Okay, it's been a minute. We're going to go ahead and pull these out. They are awfully hot, so be very careful um, with them. We'll let them drain right here for a second. We're going to go ahead and roll them right into the cinnamon and sugar. Now you can roll them in here, or you can just use a spoon and cover them like I have done. Set that right there on a plate like that. We'll give this to the cameraman. I'll take another one here and roll it in here, the cinnamon and sugar. Now remember, they're right out of the deep fryer. It's just like hot pizza right out of the oven. 
you want to let them cool off for a second um, before you uh, before you eat them. You know what I forgot to do is I wanted to cut them in half like this, and you can see this one is a vanilla with chocolate. Um, let me have that one back, and we'll cut that one and see what one that one is. That's the the fun part about this is you don't really know which one you're getting when you have an assortment of cheesecake. This one is just regular cheesecake. So we'll set that there. There you go. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and give mine a try because I just cannot wait. I'm just going to bite it like this. Wow. The outside is nice and crispy and that cinnamon and sugar pops in your mouth and then that cheesecake it's not over hot but it is nice and warm and it just melts in your mouth and the flavor is excellent <coughs> mm. don't breathe in mm. excuse me don't breathe in when you're taking a bite because that cinnamon and sugar will go right into your lungs and make you cough. Mmm. That is, is so delicious. I can't believe that leftover cheesecake tastes so good. So until next time, this is Lynn Sharp with Eating Sharp. And remember, it's all about the food. Enjoy.